Welcome back to Tammy Talks About. So it's been a couple of days since we had the body cam footage drop from the second set of officers that went to Johnny and AH's apartment on May the 21st, 2016. And I'm noticing something. I'm noticing that, you know, all this mainstream media that has been so willing to jump on anything that AH does, I mean, down to writing stories about her little Instagram post. They're not jumping on this irrefutable proof that the claim that she perjured herself in court under oath, her, Rocky, and Josh Drew, you know, that credible witness, that wonderful witness that Judge Nickel talked about, they're not jumping on this. They're not, the mainstream media are not reporting it. Um, I did see where, I believe it was Radar Online did a little story on it, but I forget how it was worded, but it basically acted like that this was alleged and that it possibly happened, but that Johnny had been proven guilty. So why aren't they doing that? Why aren't they jumping on this? This should be really big news for any, any of these celebrity media. This should be really big. Oh, that's right. It doesn't fit their narrative. You know, that narrative of believe all women. Believe her, she's a victim. What about the real victim? What about Johnny Depp? He's lost jobs. His reputation was nearly destroyed. And he was a victim of abuse. And yet, since he's a man, and since he doesn't fit in with what the narrative right now is, don't cover it. It's despicable. It's really horrible. There are people who are in Johnny's situation. There are men especially who, who don't want to come forward, who don't want to go to court and say, look, I was the victim. This woman is trying to, or this person is trying to basically blackmail me into doing what they want or giving them what they want. And when they seen the endless coverage that Johnny lost his UK appeal, they probably pushed him a little further back or possibly could have. And yet they're not seeing Johnny's got body cam footage that was withheld from him when he originally divorced her. They're not seeing that because mainstream media doesn't want to cover it. So what does that do to them? Does it make them think, mm, yeah, it's just not worth it. I'll just let this other person win. I'll let the liar win. I don't want to go through what Johnny Depp's been through. So wrong. It's wrong on so many levels. So we as a community, we need to share this far and wide, every opportunity. That's why I'm doing this video right now. In fact, at the end of this video, I will play the entire three-minute footage, courtesy of Daily Mail Online. And you're welcome to share this, play it for whomever you like. In fact, I want it to be shared far and wide. I want people to see that she is nothing but a liar and a gold-digging whore, but that truth has won out. See, we already do this as a community, those of us who have been following this story closely and who has actually read and, you know, seen everything that is available we already knew Johnny was innocent, that he didn't do these things. But there are people who don't, and there are people who, due to whatever reason, have not been able to follow the story as closely as we have. And unfortunately, among those that haven't seen it are true victims. And furthermore, she claims to be an activist, right? So there are corporations and places paying her 30 some odd thousand dollars to come speak to what she's been through. Yet she's been through nothing. 
except to be made more famous than she ever deserved to be, all due to her lies. Well, first, she was only made famous because she married Johnny. Let's, let's be real. She may have been in a lot of movies, but nobody knew who she was. She's only known because she was married to Johnny Depp, and she's only known because she perpetuated this by writing that op-ed that was nothing but a lie. So, she doesn't deserve to have anything except for her face and liar plastered straight across it in as many places as possible. The only fame she deserves is what I said in my last video. She will go down in history as the woman who shit Johnny Depp's bed. The lying little gold digging whore that shit a man's bed, an adult woman with that we know of no issues with incontinence. Who thought it was a joke? She will go down in history as a liar. She will not be remembered for her acting. She will not be remembered for her activism. She will be remembered as the liar who, had to, who tried to blackmail and ruin an innocent man. She will go down in history as the abuser who tried to steal other people's real stories but who got caught, who got too confident, and she got caught. So, as I said, I'm finishing up here. Video footage is coming up. It's the full three minutes. Feel free to share this with whomever you can. Let's get the story out there. Let's get the real story out there. Let's let the world know. Shout it from the rooftops. And, you know, before we go to it, of course, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up, comment, and as always, until next time, be blessed and watch every frame of this video. Look for that damage. Fruit's still on the counter. Candle offer's still there. Nothing's broken. There's no glass. There's no wine stains. In fact, there's a magnum-sized bottle of wine sitting there perfectly intact. Remind people of her perjured testimony, hers, Raquel Pennington's, and Josh Drew's, and of the mess and the messy crime scene that they claimed, that they lied under oath about as you show them this upcoming footage. And thank you for everything you do. Be blessed. Talking hot. Burn it up. We're in route to Ten House Three.
just talk to your wife and make sure it's not my or oh, okay. Whoever, different conversation. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, whoever it is, man, you know, you've got to get on make sure it's your own name. I, I'll go get the business card from the cops. She, yeah, I don't know. Just because we got another call and we came again, we still got to make sure. We'll take it. Okay. Back up. Please, back up. We just, yeah, we yeah. just come in and just check. We just need to make sure everybody in here is